on Reddit or Quora or similar pages, you can come across questions like How good do my grades have to be to study physics? How good at math do I have to be? And also, physics graduates tend to be on the upper end of the IQ distribution, which isn't that surprising when you look at how IQ tests are designed. Which also begs the question, do I need a 140 IQ to study physics? Can I study physics despite only having an IQ of 110? Or any other random number? Or, in so many words, am I smart enough to study physics? Let's look into it. No, obviously. It certainly helps, but most physics students manage without. I mean, there must be some kind of cutoff in the low IQ end of the distribution. But any regular person, in principle, can do it. You don't need an IQ of 140. What you do need is being serious about studying physics. Actually, being gifted may even be a drawback, because those guys often coast through high school without much effort and more or less without having to learn much. They may even be able to coast a little bit into studying physics, but will founder very soon, as they realize, ah oh shit, I actually have to learn to do this. Oh shit, I don't actually know how to learn. So whatever your starting position may be, it will take effort. Talent can somewhat alleviate this, but never replace it completely. And it will be way more difficult than school, but also way more interesting. And especially in the first few semesters, you will have to learn a lot of new ways of thinking and approaching problems and even speaking. And if you want to speak physics, you will need to learn the language of physics. So let's talk math. Yes, but you can learn it. It's not optional though. Math is the official language of physics. If you can't speak it, you cannot do physics in any meaningful sense. That is the deal. Take it or leave it. One thing of note here. Contrary to popular opinion, your math abilities are not innate and unchangeable. Sure, there are some people who just get it. They have a natural aptitude for it. But there are plenty of people who initially did not do well at math, or even struggled, but managed to become reasonably good at it over time. The point is, your skill at math is not fixed. You can change it, with time and with effort. And that's not supposed to be one of those you can do whatever you want speeches, but if you're serious about it, and you're willing to put in the effort, you can absolutely do it. Also, be advised that the math you learn in university and the math you learn in high school are very different things, at least on the surface. It even sometimes feels like two completely different languages. But in time, you will learn how they are connected and what the strengths and weaknesses of both are, the formal version and the applied version. In my experience, the most difficult thing about math and physics was that even though you're good at math, does not automatically mean that you're good at physics too. Because physics isn't math. It's more than that. And less. In the first semester, I was pretty good at math, but often that wouldn't help me at all in the physics problems. I couldn't even figure out where to begin. Because physics isn't just solving an equation, it's figuring out what the equation even is. And that's the hard part. And then still solve it, of course. Often this also means figuring out some additional approximations in the process that are not due to mathematical reasons, but due to the nature of the physical system you describe. To a physicist, math is an absolutely indispensable toolkit, but it can never be a substitute for actual physics. Never forget that.
Another important question is, what is your goal? What do you want to achieve by studying physics? As with any other thing you can pursue, you can either go with maximum effort to try to reach the top of the top, or you can pace yourself a bit and go for the easier courses and also pick an easier final thesis, etc. It all depends on whether you're trying to become a Harvard professor or a high school teacher, or you want to go into consulting and just have some science background, which will also decide what degree you should go for. So there is a lot of leeway in how hard studying physics really is or has to be. Never underestimate how tough it is initially and how much effort you will have to put in. But also don't paint it as something that only a few select highly gifted geniuses can do. Because it's just not.